NC Live is a collection of databases free to North Carolina residents through public libraries, community colleges, and universities. All you need to access these great resources is your library card. It includes access to major newspapers, magazine articles, ebooks, audiobooks, even videos, and so much more. Topics covered range from business and investing to auto repair, health, and genealogy. Why should you use NC Live? First of all, it's reliable. You can be confident in the accuracy of the information. Sources are from fact-checked newspapers, magazines, and journals from reputable sources. When searching with a normal search engine, the reliability of the information is often questionable. The resources available on NC Live are top-notch. NC Live provides access to materials that are not available without paying, including full-text articles and even full-text ebooks. These resources are great for the searches that your life is made of. Need to complete research for a project for a class? NC Live can help with homework help. Need help finding information about a company that you want to work for? Or do you need to prepare for an exam for your profession? NC Live can help with the career jobs and test preparation link. Need to find reliable investment information? NC Live can help with the business and management link. Need to locate health information that can be trusted? NC Live can help with health and wellness link. How do you get to this resource? Well, it's simple. Simply go to www.nclive.org. If you're in the library, you'll, you won't even have to log in. However, if you're at home, you'll have to go through one step of logging in. I'll show you how. In the upper right-hand corner, there's a Log In button. If you click on this, it'll prompt you to enter your library. Well, I live in Wayne County, using the Wayne County Public Library, so I'll find that library through the list. So we'll click on Wayne County Public Library. If you click Remember This Library Next Time, you won't need to do this step again. So click Next and now enter your library card number and click login. You should be logged in and have full access. You can tell because at the top of the screen in the upper right hand corner it'll say what your library is. Now you can start your search. I'm going to enter a search uh, in the search box is found in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to enter a search for the term diabetes. If I search the term diabetes, I'll get a rather large number of results. I got over 2.8 million results. There's a few ways that we can use to limit these results. On the left hand side, there's some limiting things that we can check. You can check for full text only, scholarly, um, the types of journals or uh, magazines if you only want to search those. You can search by further topics within it by clicking the subject link or you can go to the advanced search and th they give you an option of using a search strategy called a balloon search where you use the words and, or, or not. So maybe I want to know about a diet that would be helpful for diabetes. I could enter that in the and section and it would limit my searches. I want to show you one more thing on the NC Live homepage. It's if you need help. If you need help, you can click on this chat box for NC Knows and a librarian will be available anytime you need them. Off Oftentimes, there will also be a box that pops up, kind of like what you just see right here, and you can chat now anytime you need help. If you're in a library, please see the reference staff, and they would be more than happy to help you with any of your questions on NC Live. Thank you, and I hope to hear that you're using NC Live and loving it.